From the post millennial, woman arrested after trying to remove squatters from her New York home. Yeah. Quote, I am being arrested for being in my own home. She said as cops escorted her off the property. You know, the other day I was ragging on cops quite a bit. And uh, a lot of people got mad and they said, Tim, why are you, ra you ragging on cops? Yo, watch the video of this. It's, uh, it's five minutes long. It's four and a half minutes. The cops tried as hard as they could to justify the squatter's presence. Yeah. The house is clearly not theirs. One guy says, I've been here for two days. And they go, please, do you have anything that shows you've been here longer than that? And the guy's like, no. And they're like, well, then we can't help you. And so they escort him out. The woman then cha goes to change the locks and the cops tell her not to or she'll be arrested. And this is crazy because the cops just removed the squatters knowing they're not tenants or anything. And they still warned her they would arrest her if she changes the locks. She does. The guy comes back with a bill of some sort, no lease, and they say, okay, and they arrest the woman. Right. Back to blue, baby. They State. arrest her for for changing the locks. That was a thing. But they, the two that admitted, there was two people that were in there, and they admitted they had only been there a couple days, so they had to leave. No, no, one guy said he was there for a couple days. The other guy said, I live here. Yeah, and then they, right, the guy that said he lived there, he left on his own, but they evicted, the, the cops evicted the two guys that were there. But once she changed the locks and he came back with that bill, that's when they arrested her for changing the locks. It's her property. Right. I mean, at that point, you just you you do a, a switch and just pretend it's not your property. But Phil, to to your uh, previous point about the ownership, uh, I think what I'm referring to when it comes to this this conversation here is this is affecting a relatively small amount of people compared to the general public. Most people aren't dealing with this awful policy affecting their life, right? Right, because the so, economy has so, been destroyed and young people can't afford homes anymore. Right, exactly. So 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 how are you going to get change when the people that have experienced this and dealt with it? They're obviously going to be as loud as possible looking for change. But how many people do not care because they see this as some they see this as like, uh, you know, they're they're caring and, and they're they're living in New York and they're, you know, they're they're looking after the little guy. But this is the end result of those you know policies that are supposed to be meaning well, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, are they even supposed to be meaning how well? How is it even allowed to exist? They are act, I know, how, they are yeah. trespassers and they're burglars, basically. I mean, they're stealing your actual home. And to your point the, about the cops, Jing, I was telling James about this on the way up that that's they're impl they know what they're doing is wrong yeah, in course, that right. moment and they still do okay. it anyway that's atrocious there's it, why does why do these laws exist i would imagine it has something to do with evictions right like you can't just evict somebody the next day you can't just call them and that's landlord tenant done. stuff but it's a squatter who actually like never right never had any claim he has never, no lease it, it blows my mind that this is even a thing it, it, i mean it, it <laughs> absolutely I can't even the, think. the the <laughs> principal issue is that people on the right and that includes post-liberal, it, it includes normies, uh, uh, people who are outside of the cult. This woman, she thinks, I am honest, and I am morally correct, and therefore I will win. And the police don't care at all. So when she shows up, and she's got a news camera crew with her, and one guy says, I just got here, and they remove him, and the other guy has no proof he lives there, the cops still threatened her. Even the, the both guys were, were were removed. There were two guys there. One guy said I've been here for two days. Another guy says I live here. Had no proof, so they said you have to leave. He leaves. They then tell her, even though he doesn't live there, and they did tell him to leave. If she changes the lock, she'll be arrested. And she thought, if I was honest, then I will win. And the cops, in this video, you need to watch the video. They try to stop her from doing this. They tried to arrest the homeowner. Now. There's something she could have done very easily. She was with her daughter. The issue is that you can't live in this virtuous world anymore. Democrats and their policies and the police who enforce their, bro their broken laws do not care. I talked about this. There's a video. You can find it in Seattle. Antifa is threatening a guy and he's backing away from them. And the cops run up and arrest the victim. This is what we see. Trump, he's the victim in the Letitia James case. They are using the power of government and police to go after their enemies and anyone who opposes their system or is outside of their rule set. And they're doing the smiles on their faces. You know what she could have done? Protein I'm not going to I'm not going to give anybody advice, but imagine if she drafted a lease for her daughter, knowing squatters were there. She immediately then wrote up a lease for her daughter saying from the date of acquisition of the property, you live here. Then showed up and the daughter called the police and said, the building managers have tried to evict me illegally. I have the lease. I live here. They changed the locks on me. The cops would say, sir, you can't change the locks on your tenant. She doesn't live here. Well, that's, she's that's got a good. lease. And then they would have arrested the squatters for unlawful eviction. That, 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 uh, if she did that, she would have gotten her house back and those guys would have been removed. Unfortunately, her and so many Republicans 
think they're going to walk into Congress, walk into the courts, and they're going to say, look, I am telling the truth and I am right. And the Democrats and their police officers are going to laugh and say, you think we care about what's true and correct? We care about power. The, the, right. the, exodus, the exodus from states like you know, New York and California is going to continue because the policies have not changed and the quality of life continues to degrade. People are tired of, of getting, you know, watching people get into fights with homeless people in the subway and, and all of the other actual, real, tangible problems that a lot of people on the left like to deny that they say they aren't happening or whatever. Um, but it's going to continue because the policies are still in effect and that and you're still having these things affect normal people. It's wild right. to me that we know for a fact right now, Democrats are enacting crooked laws. They're uh, issuing uh, broken executive orders and people would still defend the police knowing the police blindly adhere to broken orders. If it's not the cops, as if it's not the cops fault, it's like, no, 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 wait, wait, hold on. If there were police officers who adhered to the Constitution and said, give me legal precedence for actually w why this this is this way, perhaps we'd have good policing. But I, I, I don't see how anyone could actually argue. We know Democrats are corrupt. We know they're lying, cheating and stealing. But I'm not going to blame the people who are carrying out the corruption for them. They didn't know better. I said a couple of weeks ago. Nowadays, I'm kind of kind of over being like this is the problem of the government. There is. There is a significant amount of blame that goes to the people that vote. Yeah, they keep for sure. voting for the same stuff. Yeah, but, I mean, right. We, and we, and you know what? How much do you want to bet this woman's a Democrat? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Everyone that like the the default Democrat is still like the default Democrat. Like people, your normies still think that the Democrats are the nice ones and the Republicans are just the meanies. It's literally that like the essential calculation for the average person that watches thirty minutes of news per week. <laughs> That's the calculation. Oh, we vote for the nice guys. The Democrats are the nice guys because nice guys, Jimmy Kimmel told me that. And, that. and they believe it. Yeah, I think a lot of people are waking up to the fact that, you know, the America First movement. They're waking is up the to how much their groceries of the, are. Of, yeah, of the low wage uh, earners, of the uh, working class. Like people are realizing that, you know, for, for example, you know, the bloodbath comment the other day talking about the auto industry. You know, it would be a bloodbath if Trump loses, um, which he's obviously totally correct. The media completely ignores the actual issue that he's talking about, which was very important to Ohioans and just talks about his talking point for political gain. Like people know that the left wing has become this party. Uh, more and more people are waking up, let's say, to the fact that the left wing is just becoming the party of the college educated elite instead of the working class. This is another example, but it's not just that it doesn't just end there. It ends it. You know, it, it's also it's also the crimes, the D, the DAs that are in um, the people writing this in these legislation. cities. But yeah, the people writing the, this legislation that's allowing these cities to completely collapse into themselves. Like I'm from California, you know, you go up to LA, people can basically do whatever they want and they'll only go to jail if they get like actually, you know, spend a meaningful amount of time in jail if they inevitably murder somebody. And that's how it is in a lot of these cities. Barely. Like that one guy who just shot his wife, I think he got seven years. He was like naked in his, half naked in his driveway and like oh, shot yeah. him. He he got, shotgun? That was yeah, a weird one though. He got, he got like, 10 years in the all female jury as well. Yeah. That was, Whoa, that was very what? bizarre. Yeah, really, really unusual. But I mean, really like, unusual. there's a video of him shooting with a shotgun, right? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. I'm more of talking about, like, people that have, you know, gotten 10 felonies and still aren't behind bars. But my that point are running is, around. like, you but have, yes, that's a, that, you have that's J6ers a well. who don't do anything violent that are in there longer than that. And this guy had, there's video evidence of him shooting his wife, like, literally in the face while she's recording him. Because and he gets having 10, 10 He's years. not an enemy of the regime. Right. Right. The cult. Right. It, th this video, I got to say, it's just absolutely wild. It's it's wild. And I will stress it again because the cops try to protect the squatters. And I, I and you know, I'm willing to bet I'm betting a lot of these cops are Democrats. Oh, for that, sure. That, that's the thing about back the blue. It's like, dude, by all means, back the people, the good people, the cops who store who run into that school when that that, you know, that that trans mass shooter was killing people and save those kids. I'll back the heroes. But to, to just ignore the fact that in New York City, all these cops are probably Democrats and they vote for these things. They believe in these things. What's going to it's the fascinating thing about this idea of backing the blue. It's so it's so vague. What happens when the communists put in a bunch of communist loyalists in, in, in the police force? You're still going to back the blue. That's a ridiculous notion. I think and that's what we're seeing right here. 100 percent to 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 protect or defend these two officers because you're like, well, I, I don't blame the police. Bro, these cops right here are communists. Yeah. Right. They, I'm, I'm telling you, they go up to the squatters and they're like, can you give us anything to prove you've been here? It's like, no, it's like, 
Okay, ma'am, well, don't, don't you change those locks. At that point, they should have said, sir, you are criminally trespassing. It is burglary and you are being charged with a felony. This woman has a deed to the house. You are a stranger with no proof. And they threaten to arrest the homeowner with evidence. I, I am constantly, anytime I see, you know, organized communists like marching out in the street, I make sure to retweet that stuff because I think this is a significant threat to the United States, right? In New York City, there are a lot of actual communists in local government, like in your, you know, the community organizers, they're unabashedly communists. And the results of communist legislation and, and communists deciding how the policy is going to go is what you're getting in New York right now. It is a situation where criminals don't go to jail because they don't believe in jails. They believe in, they believe in, in, in restorative justice. You, I think you know what I phrase. love? They, they, they catch and release criminals. They sometimes won't even respond to criminals, but when they painted Black Lives Matter in front of Trump Tower, yeah. they arrested tons of people who were protesting the painting or like, you know, they splash pan out, you're under arrest. 27 cops assigned to this duty to protect their cult. That was all, that was all posturing. That was political intimidation. 100% political intimidation. We're painting this. And if you protest it, we're going to have the police put you in jail. That's clearly political intimidation. And the, if and you the, think, and the cops in New York are communists. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they don't, whether or not they're true believers in the in the philosophy, it doesn't matter because they're going to carry out the orders. If you think all of the Stasi were true believers in, in, uh, in East Germany, you're wrong. A right. lot of them were just like, I don't need the hell that I'm going to have to pay if I put my neck out. You yeah. Know? I, I, oh, sorry. Keep going. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say the only, the only time where I really think like absolutely 100% sure back the blue is within your community that actually has moral and just laws. Like if you have a community that you're proud of the laws, you don't have any of this stuff. Marxists haven't taken over from, you know, the mayor on down. Uh, and you're actually proud of the police officers that are keeping people safe in that community. I think that's great. I actually think that's totally that's totally fine. I mean, yeah, sure. You still want to be judging police officers when they do something wrong. But generally speaking, if the you know if the population isn't saying yes we're totally okay with laws like these or the insane laws around uh you know crime or, or whatever it is or they're electing marxist da's or whatever it is then you so know i don't know it's it, hard it, to say that these, these are police officers that are probably doing the laws that are, that, are, that are enforcing the laws that a lot of marxists and or commies or radical leftists want but you can't get any more leftists in like Philadelphia where I live, right? right. We have Soros back DAs, right? And I, I just had somebody break into my car a couple of months ago. Wow. And um, the police helped me. They were there in six minutes. They helped me. They chased the guy down the street four o'clock in the morning with me in my pajamas. Like we were running. We got the guy. And they all, they all hated the DA. They were, I was like, I had to go to the station and do this like little video thing about like interview about what happened. And I told them and I was making jokes about the DA and how like this guy was just going to be let out. And they all agreed with me. They were like, please show up to court because we have these like lefties. They call the police. They get so mad that um, they get so mad that like people like broke into their car and something. And then they when their court date comes, they don't show up to to be a witness or anything because they feel bad for the criminal. And the cops, at least in this precinct, I mean, they all hated yeah. The lefties, I, they were all right wing. Now, I guess if they're Fifth. if they're forced to like enforce some crappy laws, maybe they will or not. But in their heart of hearts, like they were talking to me, they they hate they but, hate the left. But I would say Philadelphia is not California. Um, I think a lot of the Krasner's there, 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 insane. There, there's a reason why there's an actual fight for Pennsylvania in 2024. Yeah. Right. It's like California. There's no question. It's it's but it's Philadelphia fine. itself is like 94 percent like New Biden. And that's true. That's true. And uh, and New York is also just it's Democrat. And they, and and you look at these cops they have in New York City and you are getting you are getting communist cops, at least too many of them. Yeah, I would say I would say the definitely, majority, this might be in my pocket. Definitely like, a lot of them are ideologically captured 100 percent when it comes to the police officers. No doubt about it at all. They're proud. They're proud to do look that. Look at the work, Capitol Police. Sure. Right. Communists, all of them. Nah, half of them. Half of, I remember I remember there was this black Capitol Police officer and he would say to me, I hate these BLM people. I hate these Antifa people. He would say that to me. He was like on our side. There was, I would say it's 50-50 for the Capitol Police. No, no, As no, somebody no, who like, interacted well, with them. If, what about if, you, were, if there? you were a part of the Capitol Police, you you are an honorary communist. Congratulations. You you don't you don't get to work side by side with people who are hunting down 
middle-aged and old people who walked into a building confused and then be like, but not me. It's like, well, then quit your job. Yeah, that's true. I, I'll fair, give you that. Fair, that's fair. Fair enough. I was going to add, like, yeah, there are people that have been Capitol Police officers since before, you know, you know, they've seen multiple presidents, right? But if they're looking at what's happening right now and they're totally fine with it and they're still a Capitol Police officer, yeah, honorary. you got to speak up. Well, uh, okay. You got to speak like, up. They'll complain about communists and all that stuff, but they get an honorary degree in communism. <laughs> Let's I jump think- to this... I, I just think that, that, that like most of the good cops are were probably gone two years ago. The a, the A cab the A cab sentiment yeah, got the really it. good ones. The really the guys that you can really rely on. New York or where you talking about? Anywhere, anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. And I mean, because dude, there was a ton of people that were we saw, retiring. Yeah, ton, because, there were eight, that tons of departments saw mass yeah. exodus of police yeah, officers. I, right? No, no, no. You're you're totally right about that. But there's all there's obviously like like Huntington Beach Police were were you know they're next to me. They're phenomenal. Like there's there's a bunch of departments. But I'm not talking about ma- you're talking about major cities generally speaking. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all next time.